Hey, Craig Cottle with Nature Reliance School, guest instructor with DansDepot.com. We're out here on a beautiful spring day and we wanted to show you the basic methodology on how to determine, in a worst case scenario, if a plant is edible or not. So one of the things I want to point out regarding edible and medicinal plants is that I think sometimes we have to go into, we feel like we have to go into real wild places to be able to find these things. I've set up here at a basic park here in the town that I live in. So you can see here in this gravel lot, there's gonna there's a lot of resources right here that most of us just simply call weeds. They're actually very good, nutritious food. There's dandelion and plantain, plantain. Uh, there's chickweed, uh, wood sorrel, clover, any number of things that are right here that we could use for a good salad and for good nutrition. So don't feel like when you start looking for edible and medicinal plants, you have to go way out into the wild to be able to find these things. So for example, if we wanted to try a plant to determine whether it's going to be harmful to us or not, uh, let's use this dandelion leaf right here. Uh, one of the first things you want to do, and this is where you don't have resources and you don't have the knowledge and you're just in the field in a survival situation. One of the first things you want to do is check this plant by rubbing it on the inside of your forearm. And you need to wait a considerable amount of time. If you're incredibly allergic to it, you get a rash, you, you get some sort of burning or itching sensation, then that's something that's probably going to be allergic to your body, which means you do not want to digest that. So uh, how long do you wait? There's a lot of recommendations. Uh, I've heard anywhere from 30 minutes to three hours. What I've experienced is stuff that I and my family uh, are allergic to. We get some sort of rash within 15 minutes, but again, 30 minutes is probably a good recommendation to uh, rub this on your skin and then wait 30 minutes to see if you develop a rash. So after you check and see that you're not getting any type of allergic reaction on your arm, the next step is to take a very small piece of the plant and place it underneath of your tongue. And again, you wanna wait 30 minutes sometimes three hours recommendation, but I'm saying 30 minutes, and see if there's any sort of adverse effect to you. You feel dizzy, you feel like you're having some sort of allergic reaction, some of that nature, and uh, to see if you're gonna be allergic to that plant. If it's a poisonous plant, you're gonna know, you're gonna have some symptoms, you're gonna, uh, any number of things. It's, you're gonna be able to tell. Things such as, um, you're gonna feel irritation, you're gonna ex have extreme bitter taste, incredibly bitter taste, or in extreme sour taste. And I'm not saying bitter and sour are bad things, but just saying in extreme cases. Uh, but that's not true for all things too. So, I mean, there's some poisonous plants that don't have any taste at all. So after you've done that, you wanna wait a good amount of time, 30 minutes to three hours, to see if you have any of these adverse reactions. So, the next step in this process is to take some of the same plant, and again, in small pieces, maybe one leaf or half a leaf even, in this particular case, this is dandelion, uh, and then you want to ingest it. And this is, again, it, you've passed the forearm test, you've passed the, the under the tongue test, and now you're gonna digest some of this plant. This is where you need to wait a considerable amount of time, at least a day. So you can have this plant material that digests and go through your entire, entire intestinal tract to see if you have any adverse effect. If you're having any sort of what you consider adverse effects, such as you vomiting or diarrhea or anything of that nature, obviously you wanna stay away from that plant. So make sure that you have plenty of time for that food to digest all the way through your intestinal tract. So in this particular case, we're talking about a survival situation. Keep in mind, if you studied Law of Threes, you know that you've got at least three weeks in a general sense before you have to consider a situation of starvation. So this is not something that you have to do immediately and go for this food. So there you have it, that's pretty much it. You wanna get a forearm test, you wanna get a tongue test, you wanna get a, a digestion test, Ooh, that's hard to say, digestion test. Make sure it goes through your entire system with no adverse effects on any three of these and then it may be possible for you to eat. Again, I wouldn't recommend going through these three tests and then just cramming piles and piles of this uh, plant material in your body. You still wanna take it slow, get the nutrition out of it, and that way you're not overwhelming your system with an unknown plant. So, 
Until next time, we hope to see you on or off the trail.